In this video I'm going to show you how to eject a disc from an Intel iMac um, when the disc seems to freeze. Now this is a particular disc that I've got here that uh, I had some problems ejecting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip that in the drive. Now what my machine I've actually currently got on its back. Um, I've taken the front cover off and the way you do that is you relieve it of its memory from, from this slot here and you undo the torque screws that hold the case in place and the whole case should just then slip up and you can place it down in front of yourself. Once you've done that you don't actually need to remove the screen in order to do this and the reason why I've taken the screen off at all is to the cover off is just to show you how the drive actually works internally. And this is the Pioneer drive that comes with the machine and if you look inside the slot I'll just point with uh, a uh, suitable tool, um, you can see that there is a small drive plate that runs across the drive here. And if I try to do the eject button, I've got the system currently at the login, and uh, which is handy because it saves loading up uh, ID, the DVD player. So here we go, I'm just going to press the eject button now, and as you can see, the drive is not coming out. Uh, you saw it doing a couple of things in there, and one of the things is that it removes this small drive uh, cover as it tries to do the eject. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down here and I'm going to wait for a few seconds for it to start getting ready to read the disc again and then what I'll do is I'll get ready to put my uh, I've got a standard Swiss knife, Swiss army knife here when I press the eject button I'm going to put my knife in just as it puts that drive handle down and then you'll see that it will keep on trying to eject the disc and voila, we have one ejected disc. Now it might take a few seconds for it to do that, but that's the way you do it. You basically hold that plate down hard enough. Now you should be able to do that with the cover actually on. This demonstration was just to show you how to do it.